Thank you for talking with us yet again. Of course, uh, the big event on the weekend, the Oscars, and everyone's talking, lots of buzz about who's likely to win the Best Actor Award. Uh, has Colin Firth got this one in the bag? Oh, yeah, I don't even think it's a contest at this point. No offense to any of the other nominees, but I think you this is Colin Firth's year. This is his award. That really was his movie. I mean, Jeffrey Rush Simple was great. Movie. Helena Bottom Carter Five. was a great. It's a great uh, movie, The King's Speech, uh, but Colin Firth uh, really uh, makes it. It's his performance. He's so good in it, and he has won every single award leading up to it. So I don't think there's any doubt that Colin Firth wins this. Hopefully he's got his speech prepared and knows who to thank because he definitely is getting this award. I bet he has. Natalie. Portman's another name. I mean, we just keep hearing her name over and over. Do you think she also has the, the Best Actress Award in the bag here? Well, she certainly has the momentum, and she also has won a lot of awards leading up to this. There are people that are saying, though, that Annette Benning, who has been nominated several times before but has never won, she may get a little bit of an edge. Of course, she's been in Hollywood for a long time. Again, has been nominated before but has never won, and she's really good, and the kids are all right. But... Natalie Portman kind of has this more flashier type of performance. You know, she trained for almost a year to be a professional ballerina. She lost a lot of weight. I mean, she really physically transformed herself as well as being a really good actor. So, you know, for Oscar purposes, she has more of the showier role in Natalie Portman. But Annette Bening, don't count her out. There's a lot of people saying she might sneak up and might be an upset in this category. Yeah, very exciting. And I mean, another neck and neck race, Best Picture, of course, looking at the King's Speech uh, versus The Social Network. I mean, it might be another one that gets it, but it seems to be down to those two, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it's these two, certainly. And it did seem at first that the social network maybe had the edge. Everyone was talking about this film. But the King's Speech has now come in and really has been winning all of the awards leading up to it. So I really think the King's Speech gets it. Though, again, the social network, really great reviews for it. Everyone has been talking about it. There is a chance with the way the voting is set up that potentially the social network could work, even if people are on their ballot not putting it as their first choice. But I really think the King's Speech gets this. And that's pretty much what most most people are predicting. And what about uh, hosting from James Franco and Anne Hathaway? Anne Hathaway is always full of surprises, isn't she? I mean, she can be a shocker sometimes. <laughs> So what do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, and I think obviously this was a, a, a big surprise to have these two hosting, very young, but they want to bring in sort of a younger viewership. And both of these guys are great. Both of these actors have both, host, both hosted Saturday Night Live. They were great doing live performances on that. Anne Hathaway has been on the Oscars before. She's a great singer. We've also started to now see things that are leaking out. Uh, James Franco just started a Twitter account, and he posted something yesterday on his account saying that, uh, or it was like a, a clip of a grease pack. It looked like he was dressed up and Anne Hathaway was dressed up and, and they looked like they were performing a scene out of Grease, the movie. Uh, we've, seen, we've seen little clips of Anne Hathaway dressed as Evita and uh, performing a little song from Evita. Uh, we know there's going to be a virtual set this year, so it's definitely going to be very interesting with the two of them hosting. What they're not going to do, though, they're not going to do a repeat of the um, Ricky Gervais kind of Golden Globe <laughs> scenario. Yes. It <laughs> we're wasn't not going to see a lot of insults. <laughs> no. Even no. though Ricky Gervais did on his blog put up a little fake Oscar script that he said that, that they could use, but I don't think they're going to use it. That's more of Ricky Gervais material. <laughs> All right. Kim Serafin, thank you so much. Always a pleasure.